everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel so today i am bringing you guys let's play number eight and i feel like i haven't done one in forever even though it's actually not been that long but i've been working on other videos for you guys i've been doing a lot of speed builds and a lot of villager hunts so yeah so yeah i've made a lot of progress on the island and i know i did a lot on the island off camera because obviously I have unlocked terraforming now and just all kinds of stuff so yeah I did a lot of that off camera just because it took me a long time and I also got a lot of random villagers who moved in which I will be getting rid of of course but the ones I did get on the villager hunts that you guys saw were Molly and Lily but the rest of these guys, I am going to kick out as soon as I possibly can because I don't like any of them. <laughs> and yeah, so Allie moved in to a plot. I just kind of let it happen because I didn't care and I just wanted to make progress on my island because I can always go back and do villager hunts whenever I want. So, And then also Limburg. Yeah, Limburg moved in. Uh, so I'm not very stoked about either of those, but we're dealing with it. We're dealing with it. So yeah, today I'm just going to like show you guys what I've done, my progress I've made. Um, and if you haven't watched my last two speed builds, so my audio was messing up at this point, but what I was trying to say is if you guys haven't seen my tropical entrance video or tropical shopping district build yet, you guys should definitely consider checking them out because they took forever. Okay, uh, so I have a bunch of spoiled turnips here because turnips are the best. So basically, I think that turnips are the best way to get rid of like trees and stuff really fast because if you eat like one, you can eat 10 at once instead of having to eat like each fruit individually. This is my living room. I'm probably going to change it up today because it's really boring. But I do want to keep this color scheme because I really like this color scheme. I really like the floral. I think it looks really good. So yeah. Okay. So let's put all this crap away because I have all this stuff in my pockets. Okay. So I did a bathroom in here and I actually did almost the same exact bathroom in my last island but because I have a lot of uh, newer subscribers I'm assuming that a lot of you didn't really see it so I'm going to show you the bathroom that I made in this house so I'm working on this like mermaid type bathroom and I really like the way it's turning out so far I still don't have a toilet so that's missing from it yeah a toilet but um, yeah, I really like the look of this bathtub. Um, I really like using this carpet as like a bath rug. I think it looks really nice. And yeah, this is what I did with it. Um, I posted it on Instagram, like I said. So if you guys want to like check up with me on stuff that I don't do builds on, you can check on Instagram. I always post stuff on there. So yeah. Um, but yeah, I think it looks really aesthetically pleasing. I just like the look of this in general. I'm definitely going to add more. Um, this is just what I have so far. Okay, and then everything else is a complete mess, so I'm not going to show you guys the rest of the house. Also, I have, um, I feel like I look really fancy today in this hat, but I've, I don't know, I've just been experimenting with a bunch of, a bunch of cute summery outfits and stuff, and I remember I used to wear this hat a lot last summer on Animal Crossing. Yeah, it just gives me summer vibes. So, for those of you who haven't kept up with my builds, I'm going to go ahead and show you what I've done. Looks like Kix is here as well, so I'll go talk to him in a bit. But yeah, I'm going to show you guys my entrance first. Um, so this is the tropical entrance that I did, and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. So this is where it starts out at the airport, and it just goes in here, and it's just like, I tried like this really tropical, extravagant uh, entrance with like hints of pink in it. Lots of pink, actually. Yeah. So... Yeah, I think it looks really cute, and I don't know, tell me what you guys think. Yeah, I'm just obsessed with this. I just love this. It took me so long. I spent like an entire day working on this, but it was so worth it. And I'll probably add stuff to it later. It's, you know, this is just what I have right now, so pretty happy with it. And then the second thing I did is right over here. Uh, okay, let me talk to Molly first. Oh, she's gonna give me another reaction. Awesome. 
Yay, I've been collecting those reactions like crazy. Oh, I love this one. Okay, hold on guys, let me show you. This is the shopping district I created. Uh, I followed Jessica Ortega's holiday shopping district build and I did the same thing basically, but I, I kind of made a tropical version of it. So yeah, like I said, I did a video on this. Definitely give it some love, check it out. I spent a little bit of time on this, but yeah, I really like it because I like for my table sisters and my nooks cranny to be close together because I just like them being in one area. I really like this look and I think this is really cute. Um, I might change the decorations up a bit for sure because I'm not sure about these, but uh, I think it looks cute. I do think it looks cute. So I also really like the floral tile I used. Um, which the code for that is in the video as well in the description. So yeah, I also added this ramp here so that I can just from resident services if I need to, especially for anyone who like comes from the dream address, they have this. And then there's also this path, which leads down here, which I haven't decided what I'm going to put here yet. But then this like pink sand path leads up to my shopping district so yeah this this is all a work in progress guys so please ignore this part there's just like this giant section i haven't figured out what i want to do there's so many things i could do i also want to work on my beaches but i have villager houses that are still on my beaches so you know it's kind of a struggle i don't know what i want to work on first but yeah i also put this mermaid fence around the little area because i am this is my absolute favorite fence, and I'm so glad the new update finally fixed the glitch with it. So yeah, and here is Lily. She looks so cute today. She's just reading her little book with her little glasses on. She's so cute. Oh my gosh, maybe I can get a cute little picture with her. I know she's probably going to get up as soon as I sit down, but let's try this out. Oh no. Oh no, I knew she was gonna do that. Wait. Oh, she's just sitting down. Okay, cool. Oh, she doesn't want to look at the camera. Oh, it's a terrible picture because she didn't want to look at the camera, but it's okay. It's all right. Uh, I need to plant more pom or more coconut trees at some point. Let's talk to Kix, see what he has to buy today. Okay, none of this looks very appealing to me, but I'm just going to get some stuff anyways because I need to add a ton of stuff to my new island. Um, I actually have a pretty full storage now. It's not full, but I have transferred all my items and I got extra beach items, extra shell furniture from some trades and some rattan furniture. I've been saying rattan furniture this whole game and I realized I think it's rattan. I think that's how it's pronounced, so that's embarrassing. Okay, um, why not? Let's get some slip-on school shoes. Yeah, so I am just living the life now. My island is finally starting to come together, and I just need to get some cuter villagers, but I will be getting some amiibo cards in the next week, so I can hopefully get some good people to use. Some good people, I don't even know what I'm saying. Okay, um, where am I going? Where am I even going? Okay, how about I make a trip to the Nook's Cranny and the Able Sisters, you know, our usual. Okay, so they're offering the flashy flower sign, which I had it was in a completely different color. And I'm really glad I got this color. I love this color variation. Gotta get a bunch of my wallpaper and flooring back because while I did try to bring a lot of stuff with me, I didn't bring you know, quite enough wallpapers or flooring, I feel like. So, yeah. I feel like this desert tile would look, this wallpaper, like it would look good in a bathroom. Or like a beachy place. I think this is gonna be the last of it. They, they had some pretty good stuff today, honestly. Honestly, no, I'll get the magazine here. All right, now let's go over to the Able Sisters, see, see what they have to buy. They have that cute little witch hat that like all those cottage core people wear. Okay, we're gonna get a sweater, even though we're not in sweater season on my island. We're gonna get some worn out jeans. I'm gonna get these in a few variations because I don't have enough jeans. 
Ooh, they have these cute little hats. Not sure if I'll ever wear these, but why not? I'm gonna come back to get some more stuff because they have a they have some things I want to get, honestly. They do. Alright, let's get my neighbors are being so loud. If like I am distracted or I seem like I'm off in this let's play, I can just hear my downstairs neighbors. Oh shoot, I forgot to talk to um Sable again, so I gotta go back in there really quick. Alright, let's go talk to her. She's slowly getting warmer and warmer, so that's good. Alright, so we did that. So now I think I'm just going to go ahead and head over to Resident Services. See if there's anything valuable in Nook Shopping. Or anything cool that I can redeem. Like, I still need to redeem all this, but I just don't have enough miles to do that. So maybe I should go fishing today or bug catching. Get some miles, you know. I really like the simple wooden fence though. I don't know. I should unlock these first for sure. So I think I'm going to unlock the brick path. Because why not? Look how sighted I look. And yes, guys, I'm wearing slippers again as shoes. I want to make an island flag. Um, I found one that I kind of like. I'll probably change it at some point but i think i'm gonna go with this one for now i did not create it i know i said i was gonna create my own island flag but i just haven't gotten to it yet and i'm not very good at custom designs so um also this is kind of random but recently i got an ipad actually not that recently i've had it now for at least about i would say i've had it now for about a month um maybe not even a month but I want to create- I wish I could like create it on my iPad and then just like transfer it here but I don't know how you do that. If you guys know let me know because I've been trying to practice drawing like villagers and um, my character on my iPad because I want to like eventually be able to draw stuff and I also want to be able to draw my map eventually and do like custom maps. I think that'd be fun but I have like a long way to go. Um, I've been using Procreate and I really want to improve my drawings and I just don't have a lot of time to draw with, with videos and school and stuff. I just don't have a lot of like downtime to draw. Okay, sorry guys. I was like on that one screen for a while because when I talk I get really distracted. Oh wait, I think I literally just made it my flag earlier and I just did not realize that. That's fun. Okay, let's see what it looks like. Yeah, this is cute. I like this. It fits the theme, but I don't know if I'm going to keep it. We'll see. But I got some miles for changing my flag. So, like, that's fun. Because I am on such a shortage for miles right now. It is ridiculous. I need to get a move on with that. Which is why I'm doing a Let's Play today. Because... I should be playing and enjoying and oh we got a pink mom that's fun okay uh these are just random flowers i put here because i was trying to get miles like a long time ago so yeah uh i'm gonna go ahead and put all this back in storage and then i'm gonna go out and fish and catch bugs and stuff oh my god i gotta do something about these spoiled turnips oh no all right let's put these bells away um, okay, let me go into my inventory and grab um, a net and a fishing pole. Okay, so I usually like to fish on the beach because I find river fishing just so boring. So let's just fish here on the beach and I guess I'll talk to you guys while I'm fishing. But honestly, Loki, I feel like if I don't concentrate, I'm not going to grab these fish. I don't know, guys. Of course, we got a sea bass. Did I even donate one yet, though? Because, Loki, I never fish on here. I don't think I've donated one yet, so just a relaxing day of fishing. Oh, we got... An olive flounder. See, I feel like fishing is like so boring if I don't talk, but I'm like, 
I don't know why I'm like heavily concentrated on this. Like I can't multitask on this game sometimes. I don't know why. I think there's something wrong with me. Let's grab these fossils. I swear I've seen them for the, like the past few days, but I was so busy like doing other stuff that I kind of just, you know. Um, I would like to flatten the rest of my island before I continue working on it. Ooh, let's catch this bee. I already donated one, but I want to get like a bee model. No. Okay, I, I honestly like catching bugs more. So maybe I should just go look for bugs instead. Ooh, a ladybug. But yeah, I want to get some bugs. Not just... Ugh, what? Left. It's so hard though. Okay. I just want to be able to get some bugs to have bug models and stuff around the island but i don't know if there's a lot of cute bugs out right now there's a river fish maybe i should go for it anyways while i'm here i guess i just wanted to say well first of all i'm sorry if you see me struggling with fishing like i said i'm not good at multitasking sometimes so yeah oh that's wonderful okay oh what diy did we get Literally just an old tire. Okay, anyways, while I'm here, I also just wanted to say thank you for all your support and all the new subscribers because um, honestly, I did not think that I would start growing at this pace. Like I know it's probably not fast for some people or like a lot of subscribers for some people. Right now I'm at like, I've, I've reached 700, so I'm just blown away by that, and I'm really excited to continue making content for you guys. But yeah, I know a lot of people would probably say, oh, that's not a lot of subscribers, and I get a lot of sweet comments all the time that are like, oh, you're so underrated, oh, you should have more subscribers, which is so sweet, like, I appreciate that so much, like, honestly, that makes my day, guys, but, um, yeah, like I never even thought I would be at this point. I just kind of did this for fun. But now I'm like really passionate about it and I love video editing. Uh, even before I had this channel, I had a lifestyle channel that I was actually working on for a very long time, but it did not grow very big. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's, which is okay. Like I did it for fun and I did try growing it, but it just, I don't know. Maybe I'll like start uploading on there again. I don't know. We'll see. But I don't know what I'm trying to say here. What, what, what was my point? What was my point with that? Um, um, I appreciate all your support and I am very passionate about like making videos and also Animal Crossing. So I love to make content. And I'm also very busy with school. Um, like I've said in other videos, I am a college student and I am in my last semester. So, graduate in May. So, that's exciting. Yeah. Um, and I just do this to keep myself sane. I like to have hobbies outside of school. Uh, it just makes me feel like more of a person instead of feeling like a robot that just does schoolwork and studies all day, you know, I guess. If that makes sense, I don't really know. I'm kind of just rambling at this point. I don't even know if you guys like it when I ramble, so uh, I'm sorry if I'm like torturing you guys and you just want to watch me like decorate my island or play, but this is like relaxing and I've been very stressed out for the past few weeks since the new semester started, so um yeah it's fun lily and uh limberg are talking i'm sorry lily please do not get attached i have to get rid of him i'm so sorry here's kiki let's talk to kiki who i also am getting rid of but she's still cute oh kiki okay um i think i'm gonna work on this path right now or something i don't know no wait i'm catching bugs and fish so let's let's keep doing that let's, let's keep and let's check on some villagers houses why not oh my goodness molly looks so cute i want to take a picture with her oh my gosh this is so cute oh wait that's not cute my dress i'm like sitting in a dress so i look stupid no molly wait 
Oh no. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Molly is just so cute. She's like my favorite villager so far to take pictures with. She just she's so photogenic. Oh, I forgot to show you guys. Um, so I have a thing here, but uh, I I actually created this little dock. Like I decorated my dock um, a while back, like a while ago. Like by the time you guys see this, it'll probably have been like over a week ago or something. I don't know, guys. I don't know when I did this, but I put this on my Instagram and I didn't do a video doing this because it's very small, but I saw someone do this kind of like Valentine's Day themed dock. So I wanted to do the same thing with Valentine's Day coming up around the corner. Um, and yeah, this is just really cute. If you guys want to know where to get the bouquet and the Valentine's Day like heart chocolates i honestly don't know i think those items are time locked because i got them in trades with friends and stuff so i really don't know i think we have to wait for the event to get closer for it not to be time locked but yeah this is just super cute and i really like it and i think it's like a cute little romantic dock but it's still kind of like tropical if you know what i mean so i was really proud of that and i also took a bunch of mailbox pictures of it because I wanted to get some cute aesthetic mailbox pictures. So I have a bunch of crap that I need to donate at the museum. Um, also, I don't know if I, I, I think I showed you guys my map earlier, but I'm just gonna pull it back up here. So um, this is the progress I've made so far. So I have my entrance done. I have the shopping district done. And now I just need to get an idea of like what kind of stuff like what kind of stuff I want to have on my island. Like I want to make like a tiki bar and like, I don't know, just a bunch of like cute stuff. Someone actually uh, commented and said I should make a water park, which would be so awesome. But I don't know if I'm that talented. So we'll have to see about that. But that, that could be really fun. Um, I also want to do like a carnival on my beach uh and like a little restaurant on my beach i think that'd be really pretty so i just need to get the items for all of that and get an idea of where i want to place everything so yeah um, i think i'm gonna so i think i'm gonna go ahead and go donate my stuff i still haven't figured out where i want to put the museum either so that'll be a whole nother story in itself who who <laughs> I just love Blathers. I think he's like one of my favorites, honestly. KK Slider is definitely like my favorite character, I think, but Blathers is just so adorable. Okay, let's make a donation first. So all of these, that's pretty good. I'll put the rest in my storage so I can get some models. Wow, two duplicates out of four, and I just started my island. That's crazy. All right, I think that's good. That's all I'm going to do for now. And I'm going to go sell the rest of my uh, garbage. Well, hello there, Huck. Exactly. That's what Sugar Shore literally is going to be. It's going to be paradise. But it's not paradise right now. It's kind of a mess right now. I'm not going to lie. Let's just sell them at this box. I don't care. This is literally just garbage. Okay. Um. Well, I feel like I've done a lot. So ignore the mess on my island but that was kind of like an update of my island and just some gameplay time you know i know this was probably a shorter let's play if it was i'm sorry i don't know because like i edit these down so i never know how long these are actually gonna end up being but yeah so anyways thank you guys so much for all your support once again i know i keep saying that but i seriously mean it it means so much to me um i respond to all your comments and they just make my day. I love them so much. Uh, if you have anything you like really, really want to see, go ahead and leave it below as a request for me to do as a video. Um, videos I enjoy doing are speed builds. I like doing let's plays. I like doing villager hunts when they're not five hours long, which I'm exaggerating, by the way. I don't spend five hours on my villager hunts. I think the longest was like two and a half hours that I've spent on a villager hunt. But yeah, so, um, okay. So anyways, um, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you enjoy my content and you have not liked or subscribed yet, you should definitely consider doing that. 
Um, and also turn on your post notifications so that you can see whenever I upload. I don't have a set schedule as of right now, but I do upload very frequently. So yeah, um, and also if you are interested, you should definitely consider following me on Instagram because I'm trying to post on there more often and get a bigger following on there as well. So anyways, I hope you guys have a wonderful week and, and I hope to see you guys in my next video.